Hello everyone, welcome to part 6, where we'll build the drive modules and idlers. We'll start with adding the heat set inserts to the front idlers. Uh, when you take a look at these, there's a flat edge and a not so flat edge. We need to make sure we're inserting these on the uh, shaped edge that is not completely flat. And we'll start by simply setting these here by hand. And then using our hot soldering iron to push these in. I find when doing these that as they cool down, sometimes they pop up a little bit. And so you may have to cover these a second time. To complete these, we'll need the rest of the parts. And uh, these include the M5 by 40 screws and nuts the bearings uh, with the ridges on the side as well as the washers and the M3 by 40 bolts as well. And by now you must have 3D printed these. Uh, they fit together reasonably nicely. And you can see how these slide the tensioners which will be used later to tighten the belt tension. Make sure the uh, not so flat side <laughs> um, is facing the inside where the back flat side is facing the outside. Um, a pair of tweezers along with your hex wrenches will definitely help here. So here I'm inserting the screw just a little bit, not all the way through. And this will make placement of the washers and the bearings much easier. As you insert these, it helps to move the screw up just a little bit. Make sure the uh, widest part of the bearing is sitting properly and of course the next bearing is the opposite as together these will form a pulley getting the final washer in can be a little bit frustrating um, this actually took a lot longer than you see here on the video There isn't much space here. The tolerances are pretty tight. But with some trial and effort, you can get it in. Once the washers and bearings are in, simply add the nut and tighten this, although not too much. We'll be adjusting these later. Next, we'll add the M3 by 40 tensioner screws, and these simply fit in through the front. of the idler. It may take a little bit until these catch onto the plastic and they are long screws so this may take a little bit as well. This step will go much easier if you used the correct size hex wrench. Make sure you complete two of these. Next, we'll construct the AB drive units. We'll start by inserting the M5 by 30 
hex bolts. Uh, they don't exactly slide in, so you'll find you'll have to screw these in. I'm going to go ahead and use an electric screwdriver to speed this up. Once the bolts are in, we'll add a spacer to each bolt, and then a bearing, making sure you orient it properly so the ridge is facing the outside. Of course, flip the net set, set of bearings over, again, so the ridge is facing the outside. And on the one that gets two of these, We'll insert two spacers. And then the final spacers to finish the stack. And then we'll attach the other side. These don't use nuts. These just thread directly into the plastic. And, uh... So I'll alternate between these two screws to make sure I don't damage the plastic and get this evenly tightened. And then I'll hand tighten these just to be sure they're tightened reasonably. Next up are the M3 by 30 screws. And these will take a little while because, again, they don't necessarily push in all that easy. As you can see, I'm having a bit of a hard time. Um, they just don't seem to want to go in. So these are going to require some persuasion. And again, make sure you're using the right hex wrench. And now for the persuasion. With a little bit of effort, you should be able to get these in. And once complete, construct a second unit as well. Next, we need to install the stepper motors on the AB drive units. So you'll need some Loctite for this, and you'll need the pulleys, the 222 pulleys, and uh, this is messy. I wish I had the gel. <laughs> um, but we start by um, extracting the small set screws. Um, put a drop of Loctite in each. Um, this can be messy. You'll have to wipe this off. Make sure you use a napkin. And then we screw these in until just before they enter where the shaft is supposed to enter on the pulley. And then simply attach to the motor. And then we'll tighten the two set screws.
Next, we attach the motor to the drive unit. Um, make sure these two edges, um, or rather the one long edge is perpendicular to where the cable comes out of the motor. At least I believe this is how it should be oriented. And then we tighten down the M3 by 30 screws, uh, making sure they're aligned properly and that we don't cross any threads on the motor itself. And then do this for both. If you find this video series useful, please click subscribe and thank you for watching.